Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about an interesting app that you can use in Windows 11 that can help you do a lot of things. But in this video, we're going to focus a lot more on how to increase the Windows 11 performance by changing a lot of settings and uninstalling things from Windows 11 that can downgrade the performance. And we're going to use this app that is called This Is Win 11. But before we're talking about this app, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by KeysFan.com. KeysFan offers cheap and legal Windows and other software licenses. They are doing a Christmas giveaway on their website and you can simply enter by adding your email and order number to win a free order. On the website, you can find Windows 10 Pro, Office 2021, and the new product, Windows 11 Pro. You can simply purchase by adding the product to your cart and by using the promo code VDE50, you will have a 50% discount. You can check out via PayPal or a credit card. All the links from keysfan.com will be in the description, so go check them out. Let's continue with the video. The app is available on GitHub. The creator of this app is Bellim, and on his GitHub page, you can see the main features of the app, the system requirements, make sure to install this on Windows 11 only, as this says, and also the download links and so on and so forth. In this video, we're gonna talk about this app, and um, I'm gonna show you a few useful things that you can do with this app. To download it, of course, you're gonna have a link down below in the article from the description. You're gonna go to this page, and from here, scroll down a bit and download the tiw11.zip file, click on it to download. Once the file is downloaded, right click on it and then click on show more options and then extract to TIW11. Open this folder and you will have the app here in this folder. Double click on this is Win11 to open it and on user account control click on yes. When you open the app at first, you're going to have five pages that you can go through. Uh, for example, here you can vote for a new UI. On the second page, you can start uploading Windows 11 as you can see here. On the third page, you have install apps we think you'll love and you have some essential apps that you can install one by one or you can create a package that will install all the apps on the fourth page you have some options to automate some tasks using power ui and on the fifth page you have create your own tweaks with extensions as you can see here and you have a few options we're gonna go on the first page where you have customized windows 11 with open tweaks and the first thing that we can do is we can click on check and this app will automatically check settings that should uh, likely be enabled or disabled or removed. We're going to see here the whole list of things that this app can do to your operating system to, of course, increase the performance of it. As you'll see here, it will try to disable certain things that you are not using in your operating system. And of course, in the right side, you can select which things you want the app to have access to and, of course, change in your operating system. At first, make sure you have create restore point enabled because if anything goes wrong or something like that, you can simply click on this button and everything will be restored at the default settings. So for example, if you're using widgets, you can uh, disable this and this won't disable your widgets. You have here a setting align taskbar to left, you can leave this enabled and make sure to check every setting from here and see if you're using anything. If you want anything to not be removed, of course, uncheck it. As you can see, you have options like enable Windows 10 File Explorer and so on and so forth. So as I've said, make sure to customize this as you want it. And after you're ready and you set up everything the way you want, just click on fix issues and everything will be applied. So I think this is a very quick way of customizing and of course, improving the performance in Windows 11 by disabling certain features and so on and so forth. I think this is really, really cool. Let's go now to the second page to see that this app can do even more. So here in the left side, of course, you can see the list of apps installed. If you click on the show system apps, it will also show you the system apps from here. And you can go on and delete any app that you think you're not using. So just as an example, maybe you're not using Bing Weather and Bing News, just select it and then click on move selected and it will be moved moved to the recycle bin and to uninstall basically this app just click on empty bin and then click on yes and that app will be uninstalled of course the app will let you uninstall apps that are important to the operating system so that is really really good in my opinion and again you go and see on this list which apps you are using or not select them move them to the recycle bin and uninstall them really easily let's go to the third page this third page doesn't really have any connections with the theme of this video but uh, just a quick note you can 
create packages and you can install apps that maybe you need using this section. So for example, you can install Adobe Acrobat or apps like that, Entertainment, for example, Audacity, uh, VLC and stuff like that. You can easily install the latest version of certain apps from here. So you can create a package or run the installer of a certain app. In the fourth page, you can automate tasks with Power UI. So for example, we can use a script that will remove OneDrive from our computer. If we select it, we are going to see the code used here for this script. And if you want to run the script, just click on run this code on the pink button and this script will be automatically run. And you'll be able to check that OneDrive is completely uninstalled. This is really useful in my opinion. For example, I'm not using OneDrive. So for me, this is really useful. If you're using it, of course, make sure to keep it. Don't do as they do in this video. And on the fifth page, you can create your own tweaks with extensions. So you have a few extensions here. For example, enable classic context menus in Windows 11. If you select it and then you right click on your computer, you're going to see that you're going to have the classic context menu in Windows 11. If you uncheck it, of course, the default context menu will be back again here. The list of extensions, of course, is really small, but using this, you can create your own tweaks, as this page says. So you can go and click on those links, more information about the plugins engine, and you can also open the plugins folder if you are interested in creating your own tweaks. This app is a really, really good app, in my opinion. You can do a whole bunch with this app, and of course, the good thing is that it creates a restore point and you can easily get back to the default settings if something, for example, doesn't go right. So a huge shout out to the creator of this app, as I've said at the beginning, uh, to Bell or Built by Bell. You can check out his GitHub. We're going to have his links down below in the article down below, of course, including the download link for this app. I think he does a really, really good job. And if you have a GitHub account, make sure to start his GitHub repository. So I'm hoping that this video was useful. If it was, don't forget to leave a like down below and also so subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one and also make sure to check out the article down below for the github links and the github download link i was emmanuel from tech based until next time have a nice day